Hey, friendos, it's Ritz, and welcome to Dream Daddy the Game. Uh, who, the game that lets you date hot dads. Uh, I'm gonna preface this series by saying hi, hello, my name is Ritz. I happen to be, uh, gay, but also, like, that's not the only interesting thing about me. So, I thought it'd be interesting to play this game and see what it's about and, like, see how it represents... I, I feel like, you know, see how it represents the things and, like, how it does and kind of just, like... Kind of be more like okay about being gay. It's pretty cool sometimes. Um, I'm comfortable with my sexuality, so like, hope you guys are too. Let's be adults about this. Like, hey, they troll, get that, get that out of here. Um, I'm just gonna date some hot dads. So like, let's just jump right in. Uh, so this game is by Game Grumps apparently. Uh, dad tip 53, pet every dog. Uh, great dad tip. So uh. Amanda, Dad, Dad, wake up! Uh, wake up. Pretend to be dead. Five more minutes. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wake up. I don't want to be that much of an asshole. Finally, open my eyes and sit up. I'm laying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Wow, I'm lonely. Uh, also a solid, solid tree on Amanda's uh, shirt there. You know, A plus. Uh. Uh, morning, Manda Panda. Aww. Yikes, dad breath. Go brush your teeth. Oh, God. If I had a daughter, that would be it. Uh, that quirky lab system from NCIS just reminds me of you. Uh, that dad. Build that dad? Oh, sh- All right, I've played around with the build that dad simulator, and I came up with this. Uh, I also had the idea of doing the teal hair. Uh, those eyes I think I liked better. Although... Sure, we'll leave it like that for now. Uh, and then that, and then that. I thought that was maybe more fun, but I think I'm gonna be lame for now, unless people want me to later, maybe, switch back. Uh, I thought that looks good. Uh, clothing, I was kind of leaning towards this, because I actually used to have a, if you go back to my Paxi's 2014 video, a big shirt with a star on it. And also I have stars right here, and then I also have another tank top with stars on it. This 4th of July happens, so doing that. that Alright, let's Name be that, that dad. dad. Sean Arthur. Uh, make sure to sweep under your tent so you don't sleep on rocks. That's actually a good huh. camping tent. Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Touch so around the room. It looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is ex uh, sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. Mm. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and a little photo albums. Yeah. Whoa, I haven't seen this in years. I pull out one of these dusty albums from the top of the pile and begin to look through them. <laughs> That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. The only way your father and I, the only way your mother and I, uh, the only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put sunglasses on you. Whenever we tried to take them off, you start crying again. You spend the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. By the way, that little pop sound is the same sound as my notification sound on my watch, which is charging currently. Uh, but it keeps making me think I get notifications, so I keep looking at it. So that happens during this game a lot, I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Halloween, maybe when you were four? <laughs> the dragon costume looks a little bit like, uh... The purple reminds me of the Ninja Turtles, actually, but okay. Uh, you can decide between being a princess or a dragon. So you went with be both. Princess dragon. That's pretty baller. Hmm. Uh, why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. <laughs> Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Hmm. Right. Yep, definitely to repress that mem memory. Um, and this was you in your horse phase. Ah. Dad. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Uh. I don't think that was his mantle just for the photo, but I quickly snatched it away and hold it above her head by superior dad arms. Uh, nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Uh, go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your ska band. Uh, actually, if I do have a band, they're going to be post... Mm, no, they're going to be shoegaze. Uh, it would be a shoegaze band, so... Yeah. Kind of, but not really. Um, ouch, kid. Um, the Scommunist Manifesto had a chance back in the day. I took a look off in the distance and reminisce about the rat horn section. Uh, hey, it's Emma P. 
No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. I, I'm just going to. I'm sorry, Emma P, Emma R, Emma fucking S, I don't, whatever. Um, sorry. Ugh. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Oh, right, Emma P was the one who uh, tried to steal people's pets. It's, fl it's uh, fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station or popped her pants. Pooped pants on sleepover. Uh, but that was in... Hmm. Who oh. pants to sleep over? Dad, that was me. I did that. Uh oh! I was having a sleepover with Emma R, who isn't Emma P. Yeah. She never told anyone, though. True Blue, that Emma R. Anyways, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. Uh, the first uh, photography award you ever won. It's actually a really good photo. Um, I do like that the little, like, she's had yellow for a while and, like, transitioning to, like, the, the flower and then the little bow in her hair and then now the ribbon. Uh, I, I, I like that, like, that's been, like, a part of her growing up, but it's kind of cool to see, like, the transition. I don't know. That could just be me. Um, yeah, I got $20 gift cards to Mint Fridays. Okay. Then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tot... Toes to blast. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. <sighs> Dad. Still can't drive past McFriday's without getting. Still proud of you, though. As dads are. We're proud. We're proud beasts, us dads. I'm 25, don't have a kid. So I'm not a dad yet. But I'm getting dad like. So. Man reaches deep down in the box, pulls out one last photo. Mm -hmm. Neither of us say a word. We just stare at the photo for a long moment. Love you, Amanda. Aww. Finally decided to break the silence. Uh, it was the day you were born or the day we adopted you. Um, well, I mean, fun factoid, I'm adopted, so, like, that's pretty swell, too. Um, so this is the day we adopted you. Kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It wasn't anything big, just a little fun to better in a parking lot. But, of course, I was freaking out, and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man, uh, he holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen him, and says, it's okay, it's all gonna be okay. Uh, and then tears, and then emotional things. Uh, and he was right, you know. I stared at the picture for longer, maybe too long. Uh, I miss him. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. She pats me on the back. Come on, Pops, we gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. I feel like this is supposed to turn into Pokemon now. Like, we're gonna hunt, hunt for hot dads, but like, this is the beginning of like, Pokemon. Is you're like, it's moving day, and we're moving now, and like, oh man, dad's gone, or I guess the, the father is gone, off doing his own adventure, or you know, sad days. Uh, so cool, we're now moved in, and now we go catch Pokemon. Except we're gonna ha hunt hot dads instead, and that'll be cool. So if you guys are enjoying this kind of thing, let me know. I, um, haven't done single player stuff in a long time, so I'm still kind of like feeling it out. So if it's awful, let me know and I'll stop. If it's great, then uh, let me know and I'll continue. Uh, then just let me know. Uh, what should you like more of? Which you want less of? Uh, anyways, a minute and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Man, I'm old. Mm. Uh, hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Ah. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You're a very imaginative child. Yeah! Hey, remember when I broke the back window? We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Hmm. And the plot of window for me to break in the new place. And we're used to making stuff to break. Huh. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart. But it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. Then maybe gets to pull away and I get to the car but soon to follow it. I watch our house our old house disappear in the review mirror. So uh so what? Huh? So saw me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. I have to do that now? I have to do the cheesy announcer voice. Okay. Nestled in beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features. Uh that's right, you heard me. A two, a garage big enough for not one, but two whole cars. As well as room for all of my very important dad tools. And my motorcycle. My a sick hog, as I'm just known. The old steel pony. 
Uh, dad's little motor of vehicles. What? Dad's little motor, uh, veloc. Dad's little motor velocipede. Like, centipede or millipede, but velocity put. Yeah, I get it now. Sure. I don't know the reference there, uh, because I'm not a dad. So therefore, I don't always get the dad references. I'm sorry. Uh, dad. The two wheel transportation station. Dad. I've never ridden a motorcycle in my life, and be honest, I'm afraid of them. Anyways, it's a little, also smaller than our last house. Uh. Cozier, one might argue. Uh, good spin. Yeah. She, uh, a man who would be great in Fun Employed. If you guys haven't seen Fun Employed, it's an improv series that I host. I think it's great. Uh, won't be clo won't we be closer to a lot of co uh, cool stuff that we can walk to, uh, so I don't have to waste gas. And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. Amanda, you know you have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Uh, definitely my daughter, because I totally can't parallel park, except for the fact that my car is a rear view camera now. Uh, so I can parallel park real, real well now. Thank you for that camera. Because without it, I would I'd not be able to do it. I'm just, I, I couldn't. Sorry. But, like, why not have rear view camera? Why not always have a front camera for the front bumper, too? I don't know. It's just me. Not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Oh! Damn, I am clever. I don't know how to do that either. Uh, have you met the neighbors yet? Uh, not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. Do you want to have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Oh. Uh, in the last year of my high- I'm in my last year of high school, I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real- What pawn are you doing? Don't you dare. Senior? Hmm. Round of applause for Dad- Dad Sean. Dad Sean Arthur. Uh, you're a real, real, real daddiest of them all. Um, senior citizen. Hmm. Just gonna ignore that. I won't forget it. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first I need to forge a path through a solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. I need to go grocery shopping. Hmm. Pops, cool your jets, man. I'm simpism. Uh, you have to promise, you have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lot of special moon and the for sale sign is still in the yard. <laughs> Hiya! And with that swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority. Uh, I'm so proud. Man, all that karate chopping tucked me out. Here you go for a sandwich. Huh. An ice cream sandwich. Definitely my, uh, like, dad me's d adopted daughter. This is like, this is probably how she would be, like, really. Let's be honest. Um, it's 10 a.m. Uh, I'm totally gonna join you. <laughs> Did you, okay, it's 10 a.m. Did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? Uh, yes! <laughs> You know it, and they just move to the area where the dog to person ratio is very high. You're welcome. Dog people unite. Thank you. Um, I only want what's best for you. I hope you're prepared for the frequency of which I interrupt conversations and yell, DOG to rock it way up. Uh, I mean, you do that a lot all- Hey, it's a dog. Oh. Wait, false alarm. It was just a funny shaped rock. If you want to see real dogs so bad, let's go to the park around the corner. When lifting weights, use proper form in a full range of motion. <laughs> uh, man, I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how amazing it is outside. Kids are playing in the street. The flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. Uh, this place is nice. Hmm. Too nice. Ah, uh, too quiet. Funny enough, boyfriendo uh, sent him a text message of my character, and he, yeah, made, made some funny jokes. And he's like, "You're playing that God." Um. You. Anyways, man, too nice. Uh, I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See the pavement stroll over there? Government operative! Mm. Oh, we're on to you, baby! <laughs> we walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground, and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but a man spots a nice empty bench. Uh, we start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! <laughs> Ow! Ugh. A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Uh, uh, dog noises. 
Corgi, with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around his neck, uh, bounds up to me with wagging its tail. That is adorable, uh, sharing that. Uh, you'll never guess it. Boyfriend's favorite dog breed is actually a corgi. So, maybe he will appreciate that. Um, he'll probably say to go for this dad immediately and not, like, won't care about which other dads there are. Um, hello, do you, did you feel that thing in my head? Or, I like your necktie. Hello, doggers. Uh, he runs around a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Um... Impart upon uh, impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. Yes. This is... Yes. Woof, woof, woof. Um, how long do I have left? How did you know? Uh, do you have tomorrow's lottery numbers? How long do I have left? Grr. What's that? I'm already too late. My fate was predetermined for me long ago. I have no real agency in this cruel lifetime. Bark, bark. Uh, you're right. I am the master of my domain, for the fate is unknowable. Thank you, wise dog. Bark, arf. Uh, you definitely could have caught that. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over and takes the frisbee from me. Hey. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Um. Uh. I'm definitely getting him this game, and I'm no longer spoiling it, uh, because this, cause this game is amazing. Uh, we're traditionally not supposed to aim for people's heads. It's a new technique. Uh, I'll catch it with my teeth next time. Uh, you can't have gone in this round. Not again. Not ever again. <laughs> ah, I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. Uh, I don't want to, like, auto-skip. I don't- what does this do? Save? Okay. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm Sean, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over to Mando and see her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. That is adorable. Uh, hi. Your dog's cool. Uh, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Uh, where's yours? Brian just over to Grassy Knoll, where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than a head. She puts it down and heads over to us. This is Daisy. She's reading a Brothers uh, Karamazov. Our teacher tells me that she's reading the comprehensive skill of a high schooler. How old is she? Hey. Ten! She's a, pre a precocious little ah. youngster. Whoa! Hey. My natural dad no soon kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no. It is like Pokemon. Oh, I gotta get into the. Ah! My natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no. It's happening! Brian! Oh no! <laughs> Of course it's Pokemon! Of, of course it is! Cause it's basically Pokemon! Alright, let's do this! Brian, go on Daisy, tell him about yourself! Daisy, um, I... That's my girl! Uh, Sean, Amanda, get in there! Amanda, okay, okay! Sean's HP, 80! Brian's HP, 80! Now, I actually think that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you guys have thoughts of the Dream Daddy game. Uh, personally, I'm going to get like slightly preachy here for like a second. Um, this is a game I, I wish I could have seen growing up, man. I, uh, as someone who is gay, it was really hard growing up not seeing any representation. Like, the best thing I could see was Will and Grace on TV. And that was about it. Uh, and that was like defining for me to be like, okay, that's what some people, gay people are like. And like, trying to figure out where I fit into like, it being a part of me. Um, and yeah, I just, I want to see more games like this for other communities that are wholesome and fun, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I, so far I'm really sold in this game, and I really, I really hope a lot of the YouTubers, uh, check it out and hopefully, you know, gain some momentum a little bit and helps open people's eyes up to be like, hi, there's, we're gay people, we exist too, we're normal, we just happen to like the other, like, we like the same sex as the other sex, that's literally all that's different it's crazy um anyways we're gonna jump into back into part two at some point but uh if you guys like this video make sure you leave a like and comment share with your friends if you did as well uh as always friends my name is ritz and i'll see you all in the next video hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to leave a like comment subscribe you guys know the drill we've got merch available now check it out in the link in that area it's pretty cool we've also got my most recent video i post two videos a day so keep an eye out for that and then the bottom video is one youtube thinks you'll like maybe you'll like it maybe you won't